Today I'll be reviewing the LoopDuck CT, a powerful new device that can speed up your creative workflow. No matter what industry you are in, no matter what task you're trying to accomplish, this device makes it faster and more convenient to access your most frequently used tools. Best of all, LoopDuck CT is highly customizable and it can store an immense number of commands. Before I get into the review, I'd just like to mention that this is not a sponsored video. This device was gifted to me by one of my generous viewers. The Loop Deck is one of many types of shortcut controllers on the market. If you're familiar with the Stream Deck, or if you're a bit older, a television remote, this is not much different. These controllers come in a variety of shapes and sizes with more or less buttons and dials. I am reviewing the CT version of the Loop Deck, but there are other models available. The Loop Deck CT has a variety of features that make it easy to control all types of creative software, including buttons, dials, and a touchscreen. The buttons are fairly straightforward. They can invoke tools or execute commands. As you can see, there are some common ones like Tab, Control, and Alt. But these shortcuts can also be changed to whatever you like. There are even modifier buttons that, when held, allow each button to have a secondary command assigned to it. In total, there are 20 tactile buttons. The labels for the buttons are illuminated with LEDs and the color and brightness can be customized. When no command is assigned to a button, the LED is disabled, making it easier to distinguish which buttons are available. You can use the six analog dials for commands that move bi-directionally. For example, you can adjust the effect sliders in image editing apps, change the brush size in art apps, edit the volume levels in audio apps, or modify the color grading in video editing apps. The dials can even be pressed like a button for an alternate set of commands. The touch screen functions like a series of buttons, though these ones can be customized in terms of their colors, graphics, and text. You can import your own image, choose from preset icons, use simple text labels, or use a combination of text and graphics. Although these look like buttons, they are more like a screen separated by a shallow, thin border around each touch area. They are rigid and do not move or wiggle. There are 12 touch buttons in this area. There is also a combination touchscreen dial which I really like. I can rotate the dial and touch the buttons in the middle. The dial rotates smoothly and is very easy to locate by feel. All of the touch buttons have the option of providing haptic feedback, which means that they will vibrate when pressed. You can disable this or customize the vibration to make it longer or shorter. I don't like the noise it makes, so I keep haptic feedback disabled. The number of commands you can load onto this device is substantial. In addition to this one layout, I can have multiple pages and multiple workspaces or profiles. You can have hundreds or even thousands of commands available. You can even switch between multiple pages of commands by swiping the touch screen or turning a dial. You can also use the buttons to switch between workspaces. The Loop Deck CT can be used with just about any software because you can program it to just about any combination of keyboard commands. It also features presets for a variety of software, including Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom, and Premiere Pro. For example, here's the workspace for Photoshop. This gives me access to a variety of commonly used commands, so I don't have to invest time into setting it up. That doesn't mean this isn't fully customizable, though. I can swap any of these commands out for something else. As you can see, there is a library of Photoshop commands I can choose from. Each command is linked to a preset icon, and the label is generated automatically. This is a nice touch. Sometimes the icon displayed is generic, though. Dynamic mode allows the device to switch to the appropriate workspace for the currently active application. So anytime I have Photoshop active, my Loop Deck CT will display the controls for Photoshop. As soon as I switch away to another application, I get a different set of controls. I can also add additional applications and switch to those as well. I'll add Premiere Pro, and now you can see that the controls displayed on the Loop Deck CT change depending on which application is active. You can disable this if you want the workspace to remain fixed. You can even assign dynamic mode to one of your buttons to switch using the Loop Deck. Unfortunately, not many applications are supported with these pre-built workspaces, but there is still a good selection of some of the most popular ones. More can be downloaded from the marketplace as well. Although the preset profiles are convenient, you can program shortcuts and add icons manually for most other software. The device connects to your computer with a USB-A cable that connects to the device with USB-C. 
If your computer uses USB-A, you can use the included USB-C to A adapter. The cable is nearly 5 feet long, which is good if you use a motorized standing desk. As an added bonus, the LoopDeck CT also has 8GB of internal memory, so you can use it like a portable storage drive for templates, presets, or any other sort of files you might need to accomplish your creative work. In the device settings, you can adjust the brightness of the touchscreen and enable the MIDI function. Yes, you can control MIDI devices for music production. You can also choose to show an on-screen overlay whenever you execute a command. If you've not tried one of these controllers yourself, you might be curious what makes it so essential. After all, you already have a keyboard and mouse, and those have buttons. What's the big deal? If you don't use shortcuts, then you're not working efficiently. And if you do use them, then you know there are a lot to remember. It can get really confusing when you consider how many applications creative folks like us use. Rather than memorize these shortcuts, I can simply make each of them into a button. Now I don't have to remember the shortcut, I just have to remember where the button is on the loop deck. I have found a use for the loop deck for just about every type of task I perform on the computer, from writing to editing to creating. While some keyboards have extra keys that can be programmed with shortcuts, those keys are not customizable in terms of their color and label. The commands you can choose from are often very basic as well. Being able to customize buttons with additional information helps each command stand out, which makes it easier to find something with a quick glance. And by organizing the layout in a way that makes sense to you, you can work faster because you don't have to hunt around through menus. Most everything you'll use is right in one place, rather than scattered around in different locations. From an ergonomic standpoint, a controller like this is more comfortable than a keyboard and mouse for many types of tasks. The dials in particular can be much more precise than a mouse for controlling sliders and scrolling through menus. If you work on a touchscreen display or you have a drawing tablet, you might even be able to replace your keyboard and mouse with the loop deck. This would save a lot of desk space and is more portable. The greatest advantage of using a controller like this is the ability to perform complex commands and multi-step actions. This works especially well to automate mundane tasks. For example, here is one that I use to pause my recording, then make my display grayscale so I don't forget to unpause. Here's another where I can cut text, format it to title case, then paste it. The time saved adds up. It makes my job feel a lot less tedious, and I am less likely to make a mistake. There is even a chat GPT integration called AI Assistant, though you have to pay for it. You can use this to access chatbot features with a button rather than having to go into a separate website. You can translate text, summarize text, get answers to questions, and more. I believe as we move into the future, we are going to see a lot more AI and automation features become available on controllers like this. Rather than having to perform a lot of long format keystrokes and mouse clicks, a lot of tasks will be able to be completed with a button press or simple text or voice prompts. In my opinion, a tool like this is essential for professional content creators because of how much smoother it makes your workflow. Overall, I'm really happy with the LoopDeck CT. It's a powerful tool that can help you speed up your editing workflow. But do you need the LoopDeck? At $559, this is a very expensive device. The answer to that question isn't so easy, so I'd like to spend the rest of this review comparing the LoopDeck to its less expensive competitor, the Stream Deck. 